guys. So I color oops my hair again. I know what I did wrong. I um both time I color oops my hair, I didn't I tried to fast forward it. You know what I mean? Because when you color oops your hair, you have to like <laughs> Rinse it for like five hours and shampoo it like 20,000 times. And I was just like, so I rinsed it both times. And um, this time I was sure to use extra hot water. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to use the anti-dandruff shampoo because that helps strip the color too. And I've been loving the dark hair, but I'm just one of those people that likes to switch it up a bit. So I got this lighter at the roots and it is actually a really pretty color as is but I want the color I want is like um a hair color that I had when I was like in like fourth grade or something but it was natural it was um Cinnamon brown, I would call it. It was like reddish, blondish brown. But, well, I don't know. I'm at hand. That was created by nature. So, <laughs> um, I'm sure if I went to an expensive hairdresser, they could do it. But, you know. I remember when I had that hair color in school, I thought it looked like diarrhea. Because <laughs> it was like reddish, brownish, blonde. But now I'm like, wow, that was such a pretty color. <laughs> but anyways, school's crazy. You know, like I have green eyes and there was this one kid that would call me booger eyes. It's like, <sighs> we're hard on ourselves as kids. And especially growing up as a Gen X where kids were allowed to bully all they wanted, you know? So I was just like, I have vomit hair and booger eyes. <laughs> but now I love my green eyes. And I have naturally dark hair as an adult, but, um, yeah, so I'm, uh, on a quest and I'm going to end up somewhere. I'll let you guys see the results when I'm done. I love you guys.